as everyone uh, comes into the room, I'll, I'll get some thank yous out of the way. Uh, I want to thank Mark Drazen and, and uh, the folks at MAPC. Uh, I want to thank all of the members of the Metro Mayor's Coalition. Uh, I want to thank Crystal Konegay, Undersecretary for DHCD, for her great work. Um, I want to thank Housing and uh, Mass Housing, Massachusetts Department of Housing and Community Development, and your financial commitment to this work. Uh, I want to thank Chief Sheila Dillon of Housing in the City of Boston. I want to thank Billy McGonigal, who uh, runs the Boston Housing Authority as well here. Uh, I want to thank all the partners that are here today. Uh, I want to welcome uh, City Council Nisar Sabi George, who's with us here as well today. Um, I want to thank all the partners. And, and uh, there's a lot of cities and towns behind me, but uh, I want to thank, when you think about this collaboration, what we're doing here, uh, the man to my right is going to speak in a few minutes. And uh, Joe, Joe called me probably about six months ago, pretty excited about, about doing something here. And he understands in Somerville what's happening in his town. And, uh, Joe Sullivan called me in Braintree and said, you know, we, we want to be part of the conversation. We want to be part of the solution. Uh, and how do we do that? Uh, we, we talked a lot with Joe and, and Mayor Dolan called me from Melrose and said, uh, you know, we're in, we want to be part of the solution. And Mayor Christensen and, and Malden and, and Mary Egon Revere and so on and so forth and Winthrop and everyone behind me, uh, they all want, they're all here today because we want to be part of a solution. Uh, and that's important. Uh, this is an incredible time in, in greater Boston history. Uh, our economy is thriving. We had, just had a conversation a minute ago. Our uh, the economy is thriving. <clears throat> Two-thirds of all the jobs are in the metro Boston area. Uh, our college, universities, and businesses are providing more opportunities for our residents. Uh, they're generating prosperity for the entire region. Since 2010, the Mass Massachusetts alone has added 350,000 new jobs. Our straight state has grown by a quarter of a million residents to an all-time high. That, co that growth right now is concentrated right here in the greater Boston area. More people are putting down their roots and raising their families. More people are choosing to grow old here. In Boston, we've reached the population levels that we haven't seen since the 1950s. With the success and growth come new challenges. One of our biggest challenges facing our communities is housing. In Boston, keeping up with this demand in a, in a smart, sustainable way has been our top priority. Three years ago, we released our, our ho first housing plan to create an ambitious plan to create 53,000 units of new housing by the year 2030. Excuse me. That includes specific targets at all income levels for all ages, all abilities, and all types of housing. We've come a long way already in this conversation, in the dialogue. We've gotten more than 22,000 units either built or into construction right now, and that's just in Boston. We're on a schedule to hit our target in the year 2030. We're starting to see a little bit of rent stabilization, but we've cut the time down it takes to issue permits. Today, the average apartment building needs four months to get through the process. Three years ago, it took three times that long. This is one of the biggest, best permitting years ever, so we're working to make sure we continue to create more and more housing here in the city of Boston. We're building these new homes in the areas with the greatest needs or underutilized land. One of the conversations we had a little earlier today was where do we build them? Uh, Mayor De Maria brought it up when our land is, is, is becoming, becoming uh, built, everything's being built on. We're looking in Boston for underutilized land. We're also looking for public transportation, where we can build housing on public transportation hubs so that we can do trans-oriented development. I'm incredibly proud of the work that's been done all of this work helps families stay in our community, and particularly the communities they love. It creates the stability for people to get back on their feet and also makes our communities more stable. But even getting less than tens of thousands of new units into construction does not immediately take away the burden that people feel. In order to be as effective as possible, we need to work even harder. And we need, to certain, and we need certainty to make sure that we work with our teams. Many of our neighboring cities and towns have also done a lot to build and preserve housing that's affordable. But now we collectively need to start thinking bigger. When we released our housing plan three years ago, we identified the needs for a regional effort. We spoke about that a little bit, but in my conversation with Joe, Joe talked about the same thing in his town. Last month, the Boston Foundation released an annual report card. It reaffirms what we know to be true. In order to succeed, we need more housing of all kinds in all of our cities and towns. This commitment we're making today will help, help us get there. It will support all of our efforts in Boston and in other communities as well. 
As Mayor Curtitone will explain, we will establish a measure, with measurable goals and timelines to reach them. This commitment will create more affordable options for everyone in our communities, those who commute to Boston and those who work locally. This will also is great news for our local employers. It will be easier for them to find